So kind of a goofy project today. Um, I've got this fan that I use at work um, just to cool off a little bit sometimes after I've ridden bike into work. And it has two speeds, but they're both too fast and too noisy. So I wanted to add a speed control and I got this one off of Amazon. So I'm gonna see about installing it. So a uh, disassembly is super simple. The back of the fan just comes off with these four screws. And of course, before the back comes off, uh, just remember to make sure that you unplug it so you don't look like this guy. Okay, with the back off, then I just wanted to find a place to put the unit and then uh, actually pull the motor out. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the speed control unit. So here you see on the silk screen it says NN or for in neutral. And then this is the screw terminal for that label. And then the rest of them just follow suit. They're all in order there. In neutral, then in load, out load, and then out neutral. Okay, and then here I'm just going to find out which of the uh, wires inside is the, the hot or the load and which one is the neutral. So the thin blade on the plug is the hot. And you can see I've, I've found it here, that's continuity. And then um, I'll check the other one. The fat blade is the neutral and I'll check it on that, that doesn't work. Okay, so now I know which wire is which. And so I, now I need to run uh, the two incoming power wires, the neutral and the hot, up to the little speed control unit. And then I need to run two wires back to the fan, to the fan motor. And I'm, I've decided I'm gonna try and uh, solder these wires in. Uh, the original connections were just made with wire nuts, which will work perfectly fine. I just wanna make sure that they were in there solidly. Okay, with the soldering done, now I just need to make the connections to the actual speed control unit, and those are done with screw uh, terminal connections. Um, these are very nice. You just need to unscrew the screw, which uh, allows the, the plate to uh, uh, move up and, and away. It's better to kind of tip it upside down so that the plate falls um, away from the base plate. And then you just slide the wire in and tighten the screw down, and it's a good connection. Okay, so the little uh, speed control does require some setup. Um, as you see here, as I turn on the fan, I plugged, already plugged it in, uh, it's not working. And so you have to start to spin this little trim pot. And as you spin it, um, eventually, I have the, the large black pot, the thing there at the bottom, turned all the way down to the left. Um, and you'll see then I start to turn this trim pot up and just spin the little screw on there and eventually, the fan will start to spin. And, and this is the goal of this exercise, is to set this to the lowest speed you want it to run. Um, since the big black knob is set all the way to its lowest setting, this will be the lowest the speed that the fan will run at. So that's what you're doing with this blue, the blue trim pot here. And by the way, I didn't figure this stuff out. Uh, one of the comments on Amazon for this unit explains all of this, and there, there are no instructions with it. So, Thank God for that person uh, who provided the instructions in the comments. So then I'm just uh, putting on the wire nuts just to cover those connections and I'll mount, remount the fan motor uh, to make sure that that's uh, situated and then I'll mount the speed control. So then uh, I, to mount it, I just uh, pulled the knob off. It just slides right off and pulled it off the nut. And I think I put in about a five sixteenths inch drill bit to drill through this nice soft plastic and then the whole thing slides right through. Okay, after that it's just a matter of putting the grill back on with the four screws and then uh, testing it one more time. Okay, just for fun I wanted to see exactly what's happening with the uh, the line uh, voltage as it goes into the motor. So this is normal AC. You can see it's a nice 60 hertz signal. And this is what it looks like on the output of the speed control. You can see it takes a sort of a big chunk out of it. Um, and then this is what it looks like uh, on the higher speed, smaller chunk. So this is not the idealistic pulse width modulation that you might see in the textbooks, but it works. So we're gonna call this a success.